the literal fucking leader of cancel culture yeah is saying oh stop canceling me when someone says hey why do you guys claim to be for universal humanity while supporting zionism like that's right. a very interesting question that he doesn't answer he can't throughout answer. this book he can't answer it his only thing is like his only thing is platitudes about discourse and reflection and then uh talking about people targeting adl specifically but he never says why why? What was it? What? What? What did they say? I mean, if he does explain it, it's like it's it's a it's a total slippery and, and like bullshit explanation uh, as to why. Um, but yeah, he can't answer the basic question of how Zionism aligns with like basic liberal universalist values, right. and which which are which are accepted by both right and left in America. So he doesn't even have to straddle some kind of line on that. Right, like, because that shit is accepted by both parties. It's not, so yes. he's actually going against the rhetoric of both of the parties. This is why it's not partisan, of course, because he it, it does it's alien to both partisan camps in America. Um, but it's like, of, of course, because that's what they want. They want both of those groups to think that, right? Um, but yeah, I mean, there's just other stuff in here. I mean, this book it is a treasure trove. But I wanted to let's see if we can get into some of the stuff he talks about. Um, I okay. just want to. I just want to say one other thing here. Yeah. At its worst and most extreme, the impulse to cancel others rather than engage with them can express naked bigotry, potentially leading to violence. So again, speech equals violence. Right. Criticizing ADL is violence. <clears throat> Thus, ergo, violence and retaliation, FBI investigations, lawsuits, and so on. He goes into that later, by the way. Yeah. Uh, that is justified when someone criticizes the ADL. Some quarters of the anti-Israel movement have attempted to cancel the entire country of Israel, as well as its supporters. A tenet of the boycott, divestment, sanctions movement against Israel is, quote, anti-normalization, a position that essentially criminalizes Zionism, the simple belief in Jews' right to self-determination in their ancestral homeland. Ho, ho! So the, the reason why BDS is effective is it treats Zionism like Jews treat Nazism, Okay. You are ostracized. If they yeah. want to ostracize this position, Jews say, no, you can't apply things fairly to us because we're different. It says here, anti-normalization advocates non-engagement with, with Israelis unless they adopt maximalist political positions akin to those of BDS. Because of their commitment to anti-normalization, some prominent BDS groups in the United States have gone so far as to explicitly bar dialogue with not just pro-Israel groups – but all Israelis, based on nothing more than their nationality. The posture is troubling at every level, since poll after poll has shown that the overwhelming majority of American Jews consider a connection to, to Israel to be an integral element of their identities. Interesting there. That destroys the whole the, the BDS argument that there are many Jews that, that are anti-Israel. That's bullshit. John, Let me ask you this. Us. Oh, are shit. You an Sorry. Sorry. It says here, an organized movement that actively and intentionally seeks to excoriate the entire community in this manner isn't political. It's prejudice. Plain okay. and simple. So Such de delegitimization of a people helps create an environment which malice and even outright violence towards those very people becomes possible. I wanna I wanna read the rest of this just just to get just to see what the ADL's intention is in general. And one so probable then when you so the, the obvious thing you know what I'm going to say and everyone listening knows what I'm going to say too it's like so that's what you're doing away from me. 